our ultimate all mountain freestyle ski and it's all new for 2021 complete construction overhaul we've redone the, the tooling for the ski we've actually extended the length of the edge further into the tip and further uh, towards the tail of the ski and what we combined and built into the molds this year is our schmear tech which is that bevel in the tip and the tail of the ski joining me today is quinn wolferman in the middle and kim boberg and uh, now joining us as well is Torin Yader Wallace. I'll pass it over to Torin. It's a fun ski, definitely playable. Love the schmear tech for kind of just buttering around the resort. And you know, you can rip fast. It's got a good turning radius. So you can definitely get a nice edge if you're on some fresh groomers in the morning. It can definitely handle fresh bow. You can still ride park with it skinny enough. I think it's a good ski for somebody who maybe isn't financially set up to have a full quiver of every ski in the line you know they're skinny park skis they're crazy wide pow ski it's kind of something you could buy and and be that atv you know that all-around ski kim you know coming from sweden can you talk through with the 106 with us and, and from your perspective it's like starting to grow on me as like the ultimate all-around ski almost like i got to ski it uh, in pretty much any condition like from a pretty decent pow to like rowdy ass conditions in Rick Scranson to spring skiing, park, big jumps and rails and stuff. Quinn, you get to ski this ski quite a bit. When and where to use the ARV 106 and, and what do you like most about it? I love this ski when I just kind of go home, like back to Montana. This is kind of like the do it all ski. Very rarely have I had a day where it's going to be like too deep for the 106, which is actually really cool. I've skied at Kimbo. It's such an incredible ski in the spring, you know, whether it's December or, you know, winding down in March or April, you're going to be pretty hyped. 